You know what's what's sick though is I'm embarrassed, but it's true. I haven't watched a lot of CP3 in the last ten years. How could I you? He plays in L.A. and the games tip at ten thirty East. I don't watch a lot of them, so you know I'll have to sort of see how it plays out. I see more. I honestly see him more in the State Farm commercials than I do him seeing and <laughs> right. playing NBA basketball. Right. I don't huh. stay up late. I don't watch West Coast hoops. I just don't. Yeah, I don't have the NBA. <laughs> is it the NBA ticket? I don't I know what's called. Drab, you would know. The name of the uh, the season long pass. Well, I've seen enough NBA of league pass. Is that I mean, what it is? He's a great point guard, and he's been part of Lob City the last several years. I saw somebody. That he's been part of throwing alley oops to Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan for the last several years. Somebody that I respect a lot. Well, not I don't respect a lot, but he's a huge uh, <laughs> basketball fan. Uh, thinks that they'll be like number two in the league now. Who the Rockets? Yeah, they could be. That 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 that. that that CP3 is so good, and of course Harden is so good, that they could be number two in the league. And that team shoots a ton of threes. Well, too bad they'll still lose to the Warriors in the West. They hmm. might be number two, but they're they're not beating the Warriors next year. Probably not. But what if they do add Paul George? Or what if they add Paul Millsap? Still not as good as the Golden State. Did J. They'll Michael, be competitive. Did J. Michael tweet uh, yesterday? Because I saw the article in here. J. Michael seems to be really, really plugged in with the Wiz. That was that a recent tweet that the the the, the, the Wizards are actively trying to acquire Paul George, but that there seems to be another team that has an advantage. But did you see that article was laying around in here in the studio yesterday? Was that like a tweet from yesterday? Article from yesterday? Yeah, or was man, that I from a that, few days ago? I think they're trying. Ago. They don't seem to be one of the front runners, but. Look, All right, here's they, from a day ago. Uh, Scott Wizards Brooks are said on our still show. aiming to trade for Paul George. Good. Yeah. Good. They but need another to. If you team, want to keep up. But another team appears to be the favorite. Gordon Hayward is reportedly going to visit the Miami Heat first, the Celtics as third. And he's apparently the first domino of the big stars that he will do his visits, make a decision, and then Paul George might be willing to go to the Celtics if Gordon Hayward's there. Hmm. Yeah, the Celtics are the ones that appear to be the favorite, according to J. Michael. For George. Hey, I tell you, I believe that they're going to leave no stone unturned and do whatever they can to try to quit. Whether they'll get him, I don't know. But they, they know they need more. They know they need more. I think it's pretty awesome that the NBA free agency thing's already starting. It's supposed to start July 1st, but it's already starting. Guys are moving around, and they're big names. It's not little names. These are big names on the move. If you buy this story that part of the reason why CP3 wanted out of there is because he didn't like the way that his son was sort of getting preferential treatment on the team, do you buy that? Because I, I, I see where the kid said it's just bogus. And, like, he was he was giving shout-outs to CP3, saying how much he, he learned from him and how much he's going to miss him. I don't know. It's got to be weird. I mean, we, we grew up in this situation when we played on a like, county basketball team or – you know, situations where dads are the coaches, and you wonder, like, why is he in the starting lineup? Oh, he's the coach's son. Every time I've ever, you know, back to you stuff, every time I ever played for a coach whose son was on the team, son got preferential treatment. It you never, always felt it, that it way. It never didn't happen. Right. Now, I'm sure for the son, sometimes course, you feel like. Well, they also bore the brunt. Right. But at the end of the day, they were getting the nod. Right. So. It never happened where Doc they did Rivers, didn't. from his perspective, says he yelled at. Uh, uh, at Austin Rivers as much as anybody else. And I believe at one point, Doc Rivers almost traded his son. Pulled back, and maybe that's part of the reason they are upset. There was a purported trade offer from the Knicks, including Carmelo Anthony, to the L.A. Clippers. And the L.A. Clippers were going to ship off Austin Rivers and a couple of other players. Right. And maybe Chris Paul resented the fact that the his banana boat buddy, Carmelo Anthony, didn't end up in L.A. with him, and he maybe blames Austin Rivers that Doc didn't want to trade Austin. I don't know. Well, if I'm Doc, I'm not going to trade. I'm not trading my son to the Knicks to that forest fire. <laughs> I'm going to keep him as far away from there as possible. I'm going to keep him in L.A. But I'm sure there's something to it. Supposedly, Blake Griffin doesn't really get along with the rest of the players either. Like, he's an oddball. Like, Paul is tight with DeAndre Jordan. It's very clicky. It's crazy how you can get older and you're in the well, NBA and it's clicky. Well, didn't Blake Griffin like knock out one of the team guys? He knocked out. Yeah, it was one like of a the, trainer. Yeah, he definitely got in a fight with somebody. <laughs> I mean, that's very talented. Somebody that worked for the team. Yeah, when you're in it, and allegedly, the guy's a boy. <laughs> right.
like taking Instagram pics at restaurant <laughs> place, and then they're scrapping. Right. But that's got to be a weird bit where you actually make it to the NBA, and then you're dealing with a coach whose son's on the team. I mean, how often does that happen? Has it ever happened before? I mean, no, probably it can't has, happen a lot. No. So, so what's going to happen? Is, 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 what do they have to do to, to get uh, Carmelo? Uh, I mean, who's gonna, who's running the Knicks right now? Uh, I think his name's Mills, the the assistant GM. So he's he's temporarily running it until they bring in. A, I think so. A, a big dog. I think so. <laughs> so they bring in somebody else to get overpaid and get yelled at by James Dolan. But doesn't Melo like doesn't want to leave New York? That's been the whole thing. There's yep. been plenty of opportunity to move him. I, I I mean, you know, Phil Jackson made it own. Basically, the entirety of his tenure there, he'd like to unload him. 